Well, it's holiday time for some of us, but for deputies the work never ends. And what are we up to today, two deputies? This is your patch. Well, first of all, we're enjoying ourselves and I hope that everyone else will too. I must say that Jason Maindonald, who stepped in with six weeks' notice to organise this event, has done an absolutely brilliant job. It's packed with really interesting stalls, some really nice food stalls, etc. The beach they've cleaned and uh, raked and there's stuff on the beach and they've managed to get the tide to stay out for the entire festival, which well, is pretty impressive. Well, God, as you know, is in residence in St. Clement's <laughs> Parish, so they must have barred him. But if you can't do tourism on this basis, I know you can't guarantee the weather, but if tourism doesn't work here, it won't work anywhere, will it? No, not at all. I think we've got a great setting here. I think it should be used a little bit more. It looks like a good, fun family atmosphere. I think that's what they've been after today. Um, it's certainly picking up quite well this well, early. That's the old Victorian concept, how do you the pier, the whole yeah. thing. That's what it's about. I expect Victor Hugo was dancing up and down here and T.G. Well, it, Lawrence. It's a very well. special area yes, and it. it's, it's, it can be a jewel in St. Helier's Crown too because it's it's St. Helier's seaside resort and a useful place for people who uh, live or work in St. Helier to come to the beach without taking their car necessarily and that's why you know we want to start improving this area uh, exactly. and that is why I'm trying to and Scott and Deputy Martin stop them from building on important pieces of green space like the uh, green space at the bottom of Green Street. So we're, we're getting our petition signed today as well. That's very good. Good response there? Uh, from everybody I'm, I meet. From everybody I meet there's a good response to it. Well, I know there's a housing problem but they're not really addressing it in the way that it needs to address. You can't cram it all into these built up areas can we? No you can't cram it in and it's got to make sure that it's in line with the beauty of the area. Just cramming in houses into an area will turn it from this beautiful seaside resort into the centre of town and that's got to be stopped. I mean this beach, you know, this is a whole huge amenity space today but in February it's not so glam is it? You wouldn't let the kids run on the beach in February would you? It is a huge amenity space but of course it, it sometimes it's unusable because the tide has come in but green space and you know there was a, a survey done in 2008 about green space in St Helier and we are really below average on how much green space per population we have so it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever to me or to the other deputies to build on a precious bit of green space that we have at the bottom of Green Street. The music's tuning up behind it says uh, rockers would you identify with that? Rock out everyone, half yeah. to par, come and rock, rock out, out. half to par, seaside festival, come and enjoy the good food, the good drink and the good atmosphere. Do you expect to see the Chief Minister here later? Yes, I'm sure, he's a sure good man. I'm sure he will. Cheers. Thanks, Thank you very much.